you are probably the most successful female founder in Silicon Valley at this point. So do you have advice uh, for <laughs> other female founders or aspiring female founders uh, about what to do? Well, it's definitely a subject I think about a lot because um, when we first started Y Combinator, there were very few female founders. Uh, they were scarce. Um, and I'm pleased that there are more these days and there just continue to be more. And so I've spent a lot of time trying to help the, um, the women that we've funded to become more successful um, so that they can go on to inspire people. Because you have to have those role models so that you can think, gosh, maybe I could start a startup. Um, but I will give some advice based on my own experience. You can't worry too much about what everyone's saying and all the noise and like, oh, it's so much harder as a woman. Yes, it's harder as a woman. I've been discriminated against, you know, it's, but I have always kept focused on my product and you know what I'm doing and I, I don't listen to all this stuff going on and I'm like building a product that people love and I think that the women we funded would say the same thing they're startup founders you know they're not like necessarily like female startup founders they're first and foremost startup founders and they are caring about their product and their users and they are totally focused on that um, and so my advice is like just do it start a company apply to Y Combinator um, and, and, you know, build something people want.